Good afternoon, school. I'd like to welcome you to our online prep assembly. I trust that you're going to enjoy this assembly with us. It is with great excitement that we welcome back our grade sixes and some grade ones this last week. It was great to see all the familiar faces. And we're going to welcome back the rest of the grades over the next few weeks as well. Can't wait for this. I just ask you to all bow your heads as we open in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being with us through this week. I ask that you'll continue to keep your hand of protection over our school and everyone associated with the school. Pray that you'll continue to be with us and all the families in this difficult time. Please be with us over the weekend and bring us back to school safely on Monday. We pray this in your precious name. Amen. I'd like to now hand over to Mrs. Pinar for the devotion. Mrs. Pinar. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our assembly this Friday afternoon. Today we're going to talk about resilience, specifically in this times where we've got lots of hardship and challenges. Let's read 2 Chronicles 20 verse 17. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position, stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. Let's see what resilience means. Resilience is the ability to recover and bounce back after difficult times. It's to deal with challenges and still hold your head up high. To give things your best and to be strong inside. Being able to cope with what life throws to us and to stand up for ourselves and our beliefs. Let's take Moses and Joseph from the Bible as examples of resilience. Moses was born into slavery in Egypt. After killing an Egyptian, he fled because he was scared of payback. Then Moses met an angel from God in a burning bush. Moses led his people, the Israelites, away from Egypt after bringing plagues to that country as directed by God. He experiences lots of tragedy, but Moses never gave up. He continued with the mission given to him by God, even when the Israelites were concerned about crossing the Red Sea. Moses saw the whole picture. God wanted the children of Israel to be free. Moses showed strength and resilience in hard times. He achieved the goals given to him by God. Joseph can be thought of as a comeback king. His brothers planned to kill him because of jealousy over a beautiful coat. But they eventually sold him into slavery in Egypt. As the story is told in the book of Genesis, Joseph worked for a man who placed him in jail in Egypt because of a lie. During this time in prison, Joseph interprets dreams from other convicts. The talent Joseph possesses leads him to the ruler who was having dreams about a coming famine in the kingdom. After interpreting the dream correctly, Joseph was given a position of great influence. He managed the agricultural efforts of Egypt and he was in charge of distributing food. Joseph's brothers finally approached him after he ascended to his post. Ten years had passed and Joseph's brothers wanted food. He told them who he was. And Joseph forgave them for what they had done years earlier. His brothers and father moved finally to Egypt to be with Joseph. Joseph teaches us to recognize we can't determine what the future may hold. Unforeseen circumstances and conditions happen in our lives. We also can gather holding grudges does not produce happiness. From this biblical story, Joseph shows us an attitude of optimism should always be adhered to, even in dire, difficult situations. The story of Joseph reminds us to be hopeful and have faith when there's no reason to think our surroundings or state of being will improve, at least in the foreseeable future. 
how can we as Christians become more resilient? We as Christians are so blessed. We don't have to, we do not have to go through our challenges on our own. We have God to guide us and help us. It does not mean that God will just let our challenges go away if we pray and ask. God wants us to use the abilities and the talents he gave us to get through this with us. And he will hold our hands, comfort us and listen to our prayers. Our strength lies in God. I'm going to leave you with this question. Do you think Jesus Christ was the most resilient person in the Bible? There's a nice clip for you to watch afterwards. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you very much that we have you to go through in difficult times. Will you help us to be resilient and to face our tough times? Amen. Hello, it's me, Badger, and I've got a fantastic story for you today. Want to hear it? You do? Terrific! Frog in a milk pail. Okay, shapes, over to you. Once there was a busy farm. And on the farm lived three small friends. A bird. A grouchy spider. And a frog. He was just a little frog. Now, Frog loved eating bugs. Hey, Frog, where are you going? Oh, I'm hungry. I need to find some bugs. <gasps> oh, here's one. He just wasn't very good at catching them. Maybe you should try eating something else. But Frog liked to eat bugs, and he wasn't about to give up. <laughs> Lunch! And even though the cricket was faster than him, Frog didn't give up. I can do it. But Frog didn't make it. And he found himself in a bucket of milk. Frog, are you all right? I can't touch the bottom! But Frog wasn't all right. The milk was deep. Keep kicking your legs, Frog! Don't sink! That'll never work! Hold a frog. Hurry, spider! Spin, spin! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Nothing seemed to be working, but the little frog still wouldn't give up. There's 
there's nothing we can do. Oh, we have to think of something! Quick! Think! We tried everything already. Look at Frog! He's still trying! He's not giving up! <laughs> he was a good frog. What had happened to Frog? Did he give up trying? No, of course not. Frog was still trying hard to get out of the pail. Trying and trying, something unexpected began to happen. Frog had kicked so hard and so long that he churned the milk into... Butter! for trying to help me. I didn't think you could do it, but you just kept going. You're amazing. If that little frog keeps trying, he may even be good at catching bugs one day. What a great story! Frog stayed positive and showed his friends that anything is possible if you don't give up. It's time for me to go. So until next time, stay in shape! Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I See you.